Gosh, it's chilly today. It's freezing. It's not freezing, but it's cold. So look what we've got down here. And I'm going to cut one. Got some big maras. There's another smaller one underneath, look. And there's one over here as well. That's, that's massive as well. Anyway, John likes these done. Oh. oh my goodness. There we go. Just tip it over and it snapped. So sorry, I can't carry it. And um, I don't know, I'll see if I can pick it up with the end. Oh, it's spiky. And give it a good clean. And then chop it in half and mix up some mince and onions and a bit like what you would put in the bottom of shepherd's pie. And then line it, put the mince, you cut it in half and then you put the mince on the inside, it's got seeds in. Um, and then you bake it in the oven in tin foil. Um, it's not horrible, but it's not my kind of thing. Uh, but they really love it, especially when they're homegrown. So here we are. I'm going to try and cut the mara in half. And it's really hard to get it like both sides even. It's so difficult. It's, it's a bit like cutting a turnip because a turnip's actually really, really hard to cut. I feel like it's in the wrong place. It is. I'm just going to go a bit further down. Now it seems to be cutting up somehow. Put a guiding line on it and see if we can get it. Actually, that's probably a good way to do it. Score it. Same on this side. But where is it? Come on, Karen. You can do it, honey. Hope this is the right one here. Right, so let's just tip this off. Hopefully, you can see. Actually, it's it's not unlike cut, trying to cut a block of soap with with a knife. It's very similar. And the reason I'm cutting it from the thick end first is because the thin end's got the stalk on, and I can't believe how 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 thick the stalk is and strong it is. So I'm doing it this way on instead. The way to do it, she said. I think I'll turn it over. That 
that's right on the line so this is a job for the boys isn't it but they're not here and this needs to be ready for them coming into work there we are that is what the Mara looks like inside so a bit like a watermelon we've got our uh, kitchen roll ready so we'll get a spoon and we'll scrape out the seeds that was the bit i was dreading just cutting out those um cutting that in half it's still a bit uneven but it's better than how I usually do it. And then just scrape out your seeds like this. And that is where you put your mince, which I'll show you in a second, because that's ready. So all I did was fry up some onions, a whole onion, some minced meat, some garlic, uh, pepper, salt, and some oxo cubes. Three oxo cubes I put in there, uh, but you don't need to put three in. And I put a little bit of tomato in as well. But John probably, I'm hoping he won't notice the tomato because he doesn't really like. Um, it to taste bolognese, he just likes it to taste of mince. And I'm hoping he won't notice. I'm hoping he'll just think, oh, it's a bit more flavorful um, this time. But he won't notice that I put the way I've done that is by putting some tomato in there. This is our uh, minced meat, already done in the pan. It's got a little bit of juice. I didn't put any water in it. I just let its own juices come out. Because if you put, obviously you're gonna fill it in here. So if you put a lot of water in it, it's, it's just gonna spill everywhere. So uh, you don't need a tray to do this, you just, Literally put your foil out on the table. Now I'm going to need a couple of bits of foil because it's not actually wide enough so I'll just get another layer out like that. and then just spoon the mince down the centre like this and then once you've wrapped it you probably bake it in the oven for about three quarters of an hour I'm not going to put any salt or anything in That's it, just do it like that and then shove it straight on the shelf in the oven. You can put it on a tray if you want, but um, the reason I'm not putting mine on a tray is because they're that big. I haven't got a tray big enough. Well, I have got a tray that's big enough, but it's bigger than the oven. The door doesn't shut, so... Oh, 
I did put a bit of butter in as well, a knob of butter um, and some olive oil just to start frying off the onions. That's what I started with, olive oil, a bit of butter and then I started frying off the onions and then I chopped the mince in there, put the garlic, the salt, the pepper and the oxo cubes or bovril cubes or whatever you use to season your meat um, and that's it I just fried it off until it was cooked and at the end I just put a bit of tomato in like chopped tomatoes in there probably two tablespoonfuls so that's it I'm going to pop them in the oven now and hopefully probably in three quarters of an hour they'll be ready and I'll show you them when they're ready, of course. Okay, so we're going to see if these are cooked. I hope they are. Let's see all that lovely steam come out. They look cooked, they smell delicious. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's just take a scoop out so I can show you. And then the boys, one, one each. One for Declan and one for John. There you go. How about a bit of that, eh? It does smell nice, like. Mmm. Beautiful. John's not in yet, so we'll just leave those. And I hope you enjoyed that video, something different. I don't think I've ever done a savoury food video before. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we will have some coming up again in the future. I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.